is the back of the video. Um, it's me, Bitter Shadow, I am back with yet another video. If you haven't seen my last videos, uh, links in the description. Check it out if you can. Um, I also want to say like and subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to do a cooking video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make fried chicken. This is how my mom showed me how to make fried chicken. And if you know another way, tell me in the comments. Like, subscribe, and join our wolf pack because our family is growing every single day. And I thank you all for it. But, let's get to the video. Now, you don't have to use uh, boneless chicken in this recipe, but I prefer boneless chicken. So I'm going to use boneless chicken right here. I already defrost, and I got the oil cooking in the, uh, over there on the stove. So it's heating up right now. Now to do this, you're going to need flour. It does not matter what kind of flour it is. Corn flakes. Okay. And eggs. Now, how many eggs you put in this depends on how many chicken strips you're cooking. Or whatever. See? Eggs. I'm going to have to get a better angle for it. Eggs. There we go. I have it on a tripod, and this tripod kind of wiggles off by itself sometimes. Sorry if it does that, though. So, you take them and mix up your eggs, kind of like when you're trying to make uh, scrambled eggs. We're just going to mix that up. I'm only using four eggs, but you can use more depending on how much fried chicken you're trying to make. Then you're going to take, now, they have a type of blender to crush stuff up like this for you, but I don't have it, so you can just use your hands if you need to. You're going to crush up the cornflakes. Talk about ASMR. Nah, I'm kidding. But yeah. Get them all crushed up. There we go. And they should, in theory, look like this. All crushed up into little bits. Now what you're going to do, is you're going to take your chicken, like I said, it does not have to be boneless. If you want boneless like I do, that's on you. Alright, so we're going to take the chicken, we're going to take it and dip it in the flour. Okay, so the chicken should be coated in flour, so you want to make sure you get all of it. And it should look like this powdered donut. Then you're going to dip it in your eggs. Make sure it's soaked. So you can flip it a couple times. You're going to do a little bit of this. And you're going to take the chicken uh, cornflakes and you're going to dip it. And you're going to make sure it's coated. Now if you just give me one second, I'm going to chuck in the oil. Now cooking. So let's, let's uh, tea with this, alright? So you're going to start over. You, go, you have to do it specifically in this order, otherwise the crust will fall off. So first, flour. Make sure it's coated. So then we're going to repeat with the eggs. As we know, and we're going to let a little extra come off. And we're going to coat it in the cornflakes. And we're going to repeat. Now, I don't have any tongs. I, don't feel, I didn't get out the tongs because I didn't feel like it. However, I do recommend you use solid tongs for this part. So, do a couple more. And then after I get a few more done, I'm going to show you inside of the pot that I'm cooking with. Okay? I'm just going to cover it in flour. There we go. Okay. Now we got three in there, so it's not going to fit anymore. I will come back when those are done to add more in there. Alright. So, I'm going to show you the inside of the pot and the ingredients. So, the eggs, the flour, the cereal, the chicken, 
Let's check out what's on the top. That one? Y'all up. Damn fried. And yes, I did mean it when I said this is my mom's cooking. I don't know if she got it from my Grammy, but I know she made it a lot when I was younger. So now I get to share it with y'all. I will be back with more cooking in a minute. Alright you guys, I am back and they're done, the first round is done cooking. So I'm going to show you guys what they're supposed to look like. So we're just going to turn, this is what they're supposed to look like. Let me get, let me, let me move in the light for you guys. This is what they're supposed to look like. Nice and crispy and light brown inside. The we got our chicken. Turn it into a powdered donut, like we said before. Then eggs, then the cereal. Which, this is not a breakfast food. So if you thought this was, I am sorry, but it's not. Even though fried chicken for breakfast would still be pretty good. Hey, hey, do, do, okay, so I also heard that some people eat waffles with their fried chicken. Um, I have never done that. I don't know why people do that. If you do that, let me know in the comments and tell me if you know someone else who does that. It's, I don't know, it's just weird to me, even though I live in the South. Now, Frank. Anyways, um, for you guys, I might do more cooking videos in the future, but I just don't know what I'm gonna do. So, uh, you guys, let me know. Sorry, I got scared. You guys, let me know what else I should cook. Should I cook? You guys, let me know. What else should I cook? And what other videos do you think I should do? That would be much appreciated if you, show, if you have any ideas what else I should cook or whatever. That would be much appreciated. Clean my hands and I'm going to put the rest of the chicken. Very soon, I'm going to be selling my own merch. Well, I'm starting off with this one type of t-shirt, but I'm going to have small medium, large, and extra large. Soon I will make them. So they will be on eBay or something like that. And uh, they will hopefully be coming out soon. Can't wait to start selling merch. I will be back when round two is over. All right, you guys. Um, round two didn't come out like I thought it would. But it's probably my fault because I just dropped them in there and some of the crust came off. So if you're going to make this, do not just drop it in the oil. And don't remember to clean out the burnt crust so it doesn't destroy your chicken. So, yeah. Alright you guys, that's going to be the end of my cooking video for now. And I can't wait for my hair to be long like it was before right now. It's I regret cutting my hair and it's in that awkward growing it out phase. So it sucks, but... You know, it'll grow out soon. Anyways, like I said, like, subscribe, and check out the videos I have in the description. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for watching and joining my family and our wolf pack. So, thanks. Uh, follow me on everything. Uh, and that's it. Bye, guys.